Welcome back to part two, guys. So we've got the 36 and the 52 loaded up on the ramp, ready to take the blades off. Now I've already got spare blades for the 52, but I don't have them for the 36. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and drop the blades on this and change the blades out on the 52. And then we'll pull the 61 up here and get those blades off. And then we'll run them back to the RBG 712 and get those sharpened up. So here we go. Alright guys, I got the 52 all done, got all the blades changed on it, got both the blades off of the 36, so I'm going to move the 52 aside, grab the 61, bring it out here, we're going to drop the blades on it, and then try not to mix them up, and we're going to change them. All right, so I've got them both dropped on, on this side on the 61, and I've got both the blades off of the 36. It's a bunch of moving stuff around, but I still think this is probably one of the easiest ways to do it instead of using a jack. Um, I feel it, it may be even a little safer, but this is how I've always done it with the 52, just run it up on the side, but I'll have to figure out what way works best whenever I get several more sets of blades. I wanna show you the blade on the 61. Y'all check this out and tell me if I can save it. Oh, goodness. So, I was uh, mowing along in a yard and heard some clunk. And I saw a five-pound hammerhead. Not a shark, but from a hammer. Come on, guys, for real. Come flying out of the deck. I said, oh, good Lord. So, I'm, not, that's, I'm, I'm just going to sharpen this up best I can run it a couple of times just to get a to get a blade back on where i can but as far as that uh notch that's taken out these are pretty much trashed and i'm hoping i'm gonna i'm gonna set them down and take a look at them and uh, hopefully i didn't bend it but these are these are pretty much garbage i'm just gonna use them to get by but i am gonna be picking up a couple more sets for both the 36 and the 61 but for right now I'm just gonna have to run this as that's not really gonna hurt honestly um, not too worried about it so let's uh, let's go ahead and get the rest of these blades back there get the RBG 712 fired up and see if we can't do anything with it here we go all right guys so I got good news and bad news the good news is the 36 blades are actually the same size as the 52 I think I knew that but I really can't be too sure but they are the same size it's the 52 so I've got plenty of blades for the 36 all i need to do is buy blades for the 61 ready for the bad news 
Not sure if you'll be able to tell on camera. Look how bent that blade is. <laughs> 61's getting new blades tomorrow. So I'm just gonna leave these off. I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen these two, but I'm gonna get three new blades for the 61. And this is gonna go in the pile of messed up blades. So anyways, just thought I'd show you all that. Perfect. All right guys, here we are in the shed and I've got the RBG 712 hooked up, ready to go. Y'all seen this on Instagram and some of you actually subscribe to my son's channel. So this is a Danchy Ridge Rock that I bought for my son. It's a little entry level rock. I'll let him tell you more about it. Uh, go watch his video. Check out Max's RC Adventure on YouTube. He did his first video last week and he had a blast with it. We're ready to do another one. Hopefully sometime this week, maybe on end of the weekend, we're going to go down to another place and let him try it out there. It's a, it's a little bit more fun. And I'm also working on getting some stuff just from landscaping jobs um, to put back in our course. Well, I've given you too much information. Check out Max's RC Adventure on YouTube. Subscribe to him, y'all. Help my son out. He's wanting, he's wanting to do some rock crawling. So that's fun. Anyways, back to this. So I got the RBG 712 ready to go. Um, I really don't even need to sharpen any blades since I'm getting the new ones for the 61. Sorry. Since I'm getting the new ones for the 61 tomorrow. And the 52 blades work on the 36. Really don't even need to sharpen blades, but I told you I was gonna sharpen some blades. Gonna be getting some footage of the RBG 712 in action. So let's go ahead and fire it up. Y'all listen to how quiet this is. That's it. That's running. So we're gonna run, the, we're gonna go ahead and run the, the two 61 inch blades through it. I'm not even gonna mess with the this 61 inch blade and also you can see I put a blade back there behind it just to catch the sparks that come through as you can see one time I did not do it and it uh, destroyed the siding on the shed so I'm going to of course got that blade back there but I'm gonna go ahead and run these two from the 61 and I'm gonna run the two that came off of the 36 and I'm just gonna go ahead and put those back on there so let's do some sharpening I do apologize. I forgot to hit record. I sharpened the six, the two off of the 61 and I sharpened the two off of the 36. It only took like two runs through the ones off the 36 just because it only had two and a half hours on it. So maybe two and a half hours of run time. I mean, but it took two or three passes through there and it was done. Done. Which two and a half hours barely got it to where you know the paint was coming off of it so really we just kind of notched it in and just put a little blade back on it but guys uh, i am going to sharpen some more blades just so you can get some action of the rbg 712. see those are good so let's just grab some blades that was not very sharp aha uh -huh. We'll go ahead and sharpen a set of the 52s. That way we'll have some, sorry. That way we'll have some ready. I've already got some ready, but let's just pretend I don't have any ready. Let's sharpen up some 52 inch blades. 52 and 36 inch blades. And before I start, hair and protection, or Sturgill Simpson, eye protection.
right guys, so when it comes to sharpening your blades, I know a lot of people are going to ask one question. Do you balance your blades? And uh, I usually don't because they came from the factory already balanced, so I trust the factory. I'm just kidding, guys. So, a couple of things you can do. Um, big controversy over the screw. A lot of people say, yes, it works. A lot of people say, no, it doesn't. The people that say it doesn't work, I just want to show you one thing. What you need to do is make sure the center of that hole is on the screw. See, we could probably take a little bit off of this side because it's heavier. But guys, I'm really not too worried about it. I've never had any issues with it being wobbly. Now, if there's one that is really bad, like, let's check, make sure it's dead center. See, even that one's not too bad. I have no issue putting that on my mower. I don't always check. But when I do, usually I find they're fairly balanced. Now that one does, that one could use a little bit taken off of this side. But I'm not too worried about it. As long as it's not like this. That's when you have to worry. And if you don't trust the screw, even after what I just said, you can always go to, sorry, that light might have been in your eyes. You can always go to Lowe's or Home Depot and they've got a little level and it's like in the shape of a cone and you can put your blade on there and it, it'll balance it and I'll show you what side you need to take off of. So, But for the most part guys, especially with brand new blades, I'm just taking a little bit off. I'm not grinding down a tremendous amount of metal. So I'm really just getting that little blade back. And I, I just about believe I could probably cut some hair with this. That one's sharp. But let's go ahead and get these put back on and put some grease in the machines. Alright guys, so let's get these things pumped full of grease. What I'm going to be using is just this uh, thing you can get at any little auto store, AutoZone, Advance, O'Reilly. Uh, you pick one. And let's go get you one. They're, I mean, they're nice to have when you've got a mower. I think there used to be something right there, but I hope this thing still works. I don't know. If not, we'll go get another one. Or we may end up, probably since I'm, I'm having to grease three machines now, what I'm probably going to end up doing is going out and getting a, a Dewalt uh, electric grease pumper, whatever you call them, electric grease gun, and um, I think that's gonna that's, my hand's gonna thank me for that one. So uh, what we're gonna be using today, and that's what I've already got in there, but I went ahead and bought a spare tube of this just because I'm not exactly sure how I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be going through three times as much grease this year. So I went ahead and bought the Echo Red Armor. I've uh, had really good luck with it. Uh, my dealer recommends to do the Dello every now and then, especially on the uh, the spindles. So either way, grease is grease, but you know, every now and then it's just like getting regular gas and then every now and then pumping some 93 octane through it. You know, it just kind of helps clean out the system. You know what I'm talking about? Anyways. So got two different kinds of grease, but we're gonna we're gonna finish out with the red armor that's already in here, and then we're going to switch over to the Dello, and then we will go back to the red armor. So it's kind of back and forth, back and forth, you know. Um, it's all good grease. I've had really good results either way. I haven't had any bearing, spindle, any kind of issues due to grease. So I don't think I've had any kind of issues at all. So. Anyways, uh, we're gonna get these things pumped full of grease. Uh, as you know, the Skags all have about a million grease points. 
So we got one, two, three million grease points to hit, guys. Let's get it before it gets dark. Guys, I figured out what I was missing, and I found it. So, also, we are out of grease. Empty. So I was actually using the Dello. Now we're gonna run the Red Armor through it. Sometimes you lose track. It's, it's been last year since I put grease in that thing. So uh, we're gonna throw some Red Armor in there, switch it up a bit, and finish up greasing. All right, guys, everything is greased up, especially my hands. But that's what happens when you got another thing. All last summer, I left that grease gun in the truck, and uh, it was kind of messy. Anyways, I got it all cleaned up. Um, a lot of the grease had actually shot in behind the uh, little rubber piece that pushes that grease forward. Um, some of it got behind it. It was a nasty mess, but I got it cleaned up. Um, let's go ahead and do a recap. Everything's greased. Got sharp blades on the 52, sharp blades on the 36. Justin, I'll be in tomorrow. If you if you end up watching this, I will be in Monday, tomorrow, to get a set of blades for the 61. Yeah, we found that bent blade on the 61, and glad we found it, which I knew it had been chunked. I know it was bent though. It looked it looked decent, but you can't really tell unless you take it off and set it on a flat surface. Uh, it's no big deal. That happens. It's not the first blade I've bent or completely destroyed within 15 and a half hours of having the machine. So, guys, you never know what you're going to run into in these yards. Uh, best to walk it. The only thing with this one, it was probably three-quarter acre yard, and it was right out in the middle of the yard when I hit it. So, can't win them all, guys. Uh, stay positive, though, because... Who knows what's gonna happen next. But today's Sunday motivational part two video is a wrap, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy this kind of stuff. I do. It really gets me pumped up for, for Monday. That way, Monday I go in knowing that everything, excluding the needing 61 blades, which we will get tomorrow, everything is ready to go for the week. What I'm probably gonna end up doing next weekend for a, a Sunday motivational maintenance video uh, of course, we'll be greasing everything again, changing the blades, but this time I'm going to really focus on getting all that crap out from underneath that deck and how I do it. So that'll be a real fun one. Really fun. So, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video today. Uh, the one from earlier. I hope y'all enjoy this video. But if you will, hit that subscribe button, shoot me a thumbs up, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Perfect.